that's fun. Hey guys, Tonga here, and today I am reviewing the Skoda T56 here on the channel. Bum, bum, bum. It's heavy tank, premium, Czechoslovakian, two shot auto loading, boom boom popper. Pretty, pretty cool. And it actually has, I believe, two choices of guns the uh, single shot or the two shot popper popper. Mm -hmm -hmm. This is the good one though. 208 millimeters of penetration on its standard rounds. So not that great indeed, but let's go to the module viewer right here, right now, before we jump into some gameplay. Horsepower per ton, 13 and a half. 35 kilometer hour top speed limit, pretty slow. Um, it's a heavy tank, what do you expect? Reload time with my setup is 20.72 seconds, m giving it a 4.95 rounds per minute, accuracy of 0.27 with my current setup, aiming time of 2.43 with my current setup, and here it is, shots per clip, two. Interclip reload, 3.5. And that is what makes this tank special. That's about it. Eight degrees of gun depression, pretty good on a heavy tank, but that's it. 473 meters view range with my setup, and, and I have optics, but that's it. So nothing really special about it. 208 millimeters of penetration, really low, not good. 248 millimeters of penetration with premium rounds, not great. Um, shell velocity is also pretty low. The AP is the same as the APCR at 1,000. So, so why do you play this tank? It is literally just for that two shot. So if you're using this tank with the one shot, maybe you are having better games, maybe you aren't, but it's not special, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? It's not special. You're not having any kind of special anything. But what, how do we have it set up? How do we, how, Kongai, how do you have that view range? And how do you have that rate of fire? Tell us, with the 460 Alpha, by the way, right there. Um, well, we have here, we have advanced optics for the 10% view range. We have enhanced gun laying drive for 12% aim speed, aiming time. And we have the gun stabilizer for 20% shell accuracy. Uh, very important. And you could probably, oh boy, you could probably switch out optics if you don't care for view range too much for improved ventilation and you'll have just the most accurate gun you could possibly have on this thing or maybe advanced gun lane drive if you wanted ventilation but we went with uh quicker gun handling so that's what we went with so yes we also are going with food and i actually have more premium rounds than i do standard rounds on this tank which i don't usually do if ever but in this tank i it, this tank to me is the exception because 248 pen on its premium isn't even that great 208 on its standard is terrible. You're going to struggle with some tier 7s with that. Yeah. So, anywho's, there's that. That's not that great. Let's go to the commander now and see what how we have this setup. And I, I used the help of my chat yesterday, my live stream chat, to build this setup. And uh, let, let's, let's go here. Pretty obvious. Born later, 10% increase to skip skill effectiveness and crew performance. This is like a must on everything. Same with the rapid loading, 10% increase to gun load, reload speed, and steady aim, 10% increase to shell accuracy. Those are like three things you want in everything. Sixth sense I also encourage, because knowledge is important. So those four, yes. Now, to help with the gun handling, we also got run and gun, 10% increase to accuracy when moving, and snapshot, 12% increase to accuracy during turret rotation. So whenever you're moving, your gun is also moving as well. So this helps both moving and standing still, as long as the gun is moving. This helps. Then we also went with Dead Eye, which 6% increased the chance of damage, of damaging enemy crew and modules with AP, APCR, and heat shells. That's also very cool because if you hit where the ammo rack is on a tank, the dice rolls to see if you damage it. And it's about a 25% chance that you damage an ammo rack. It's about a 33% chance that you damage a fuel tank. Little random facts for you guys there. And so the shell has to pass through the ammo rack and then it rolls to see if it does damage. And then if it does damage, it rolls to see how much damage it does to that. And so this helps make sure or give a better chance of you actually damaging modules on the inside, which is pretty cool. Um, situation awareness, 6% increase to max view range because 370 is your base. So not that great. And track mechanic to, repair, to increase our track repair speed. Because we're a heavy tank, we're going to get tracked probably a lot. So yes. Oh. What's that you say? You want to know about the armor on this thing? 
I suppose we can do that real quick. Uh, the turret's is fairly decent. It's rounded. Uh, 220 at the very front. Uh, the cupola is big and it's 170 and flat, so pretty easy to pen. You can pen yourself with standard, which is perfectly fine. You should be able to. And then the upper plate is only 100 and it's angled back nicely, but not that nicely. It's because it's a lower profile tank, people are shooting down on you. And so they that negates the, the armor. And I was absolutely pulverized by a T29, which is a tier lower than me in this tank on stream yesterday. And then your lower plate is 85, but it's actually angled really well. You probably don't want to shoot this thing in the lower plate because you're going to be looking down at it like this. You're better off shooting the upper plate. And then the side armor, which is actually fairly decent, is 70, and part of it is angled. So you can actually side scrape in this, but you can side scrape with almost any tank. So don't go around being like, oh, it's a side scraper. It's worth it. It's not. Not for side scraping. You can side scrape in almost every heavy tank. So that shouldn't be the selling factor unless the tank is specifically designed for side scraping. But that's the Skoda T56. Let's pull that up for some gameplay. I think we're just going to start off with APCR in this game. Because that is a lot of armor. It's not a lot of armor, but it is a lot of armor for this tank. I did not get spotted. Did I get spotted? No, still not spotted. And that's what this tank could do. 900 damage right then and there. Just right out the gate. This is not good. And I missed that shot like a Muppet. That was an important shot to hit and I missed it. But that was my own fault. Because if he was down 400 health he might actually be killable. Two shots from this tank can easily change the course of a battle. Oh, that bounce is so disappointing. Oh, getting only one shot per magazine out is too bad. Now that guy is still alive. Because he could be dead right now. Good. And this guy just fired. <laughs> there we go. Now we can get double tapped. The Jag Panther and Stritzwong, so we gotta be careful here. An AFK standard B. Oh, we're dead. Ah, at least we spotted them, now we're getting assist. We worked pretty hard for that one. Grab ourselves the top spot. That assist damage at the end was fantastic. Only a second class. People are playing this fairly decent one. 1900 base XP is a second class. Yesterday, yesterday that was an ace. So, that tells you people are playing phenomenally in this tank. So this tank must actually be good.
Three piggies. Why would I want to go to choke point with three piggies? I don't think I do. I think we're going to play the scout. <laughs> Top tier, though. Now nah, we're going to go with the piggies. We're going to go fight the piggies. Deal with them. Because we can leave, no problem, because from this side of the map, you can just leave. On the other side, if you push valley, you can't leave without getting shot in the back. That's all you saw. I think we're already out of here. That's not gonna work out for us. This is where we will make our stand, my friend. Yeah, we just bounced off of that guy. And he gets through. He's got to actually kill our pigs. Reload, 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 reload. Nice. That's a disappointing miss, but T32 picks us up. <laughs> He's too tall. He is getting absolutely eviscerated where he is. Died off, they did. This is T32. Oh, he didn't do as much as I thought he did, but he did enough. That Emil can just clip us if he chooses. But man, oh man, an Emil right there is pretty much impossible. He wants to kill. He was just nicking the front of our tank there. Do you see that? Barely nicking it. And that's because of the V-shaped hull, the top part. That's where they were able to hit. If our side armor was flat, we actually would have been able to side scrape that. Did you forget I existed, sir? He came out of nowhere. Ow. I guess I forgot he existed. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with 8 degrees. I would have loved to not miss, but we did miss.
I'll take that. Execute, 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 execute. Wow. That second shot made no sense. We didn't even hit his tank. Just so you know. It wasn't that we aimed badly. The gun just went, nah. Twenty seconds. Can we load in time? Oh, I was going for that ram. I don't think we would have killed him with the ram, but third class, not terrible, not terrible. Oh wow, that spawn is really close. Oh. No, 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 why you block my shot? There we go. Obviously it wasn't on purpose, but it was... The timing was like, oof. You know? Like I said, we struggle to even go through tier 7s. And he snaps us. We're so outclassed here. It's embarrassing. Jeez! Oh my gosh. Yep. Top tier again. Hopefully we can, uh... Whoa, there it goes again. It's when I left my mini map that did that. Oh, not that time. I love starting with that kind of uh, RNG. That's pretty good. Premium for the Hell Kitty, eh? We have to kill him. Run, 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 run. Dang it, we kind of needed him. Oh, I don't know how that one didn't go through his lower plate, but we have to knock this guy out. There we go.
Oh! He's still full health. Yeah, thanks, Artie. Shucks. There's only so much you can do. Did we one-shot that guy or did he get double tapped, by the way? We one-shot him. Oh, that's fun. What the heck was that? There we go, MVP, last game of the day, killed the piggy, made a KV2, wish he was not playing a KV2, yeah, that's nice to see they already do zero, but I do feel bad for the KV2 a little bit, nonetheless, not a bad game, not a bad, uh, not a bad run of, run of games. So let's go to T56, which is 50% off in the store right now. If you get the fully loaded, 7,800 or 6,600. And then it gets even cheaper than that. 50% off next week um, when you get the base package. Is it worth it? Well, as far as tier 8 premium heavy tanks go, absolutely. You know, if you're if you're thinking of getting a tier 8 premium heavy, 6,000 gold is not that bad. In fact, that's really, really good. Especially for a... A new tank in the game. Now, I think Wargaming is being very intelligent with this. Because they know this tank is absolutely hyped on PC. But not everyone's going to buy it if it's at full price. Almost 15,000 gold if it was fully loaded. In fact, actually, yes, over 15,000 gold fully loaded. So, what they've done is they've cut it in half to maximize their profit. Because now people who aren't too sure about getting it are going to be getting it. And they're going to be making a ton of cash. Take on the tank. I think it's a... I think it's a more balanced tank, I do, as far as I've been playing it. I Almost every game I've been in, I would have rather have been in a T-32. So, it's I don't think it's as good as the T-32. I don't think it's as good as, as, good as the Carnarvon, or the Carnarvon Action 10, or the Paladin, or the T-32A. Like, yeah. But, I still enjoy the tank, and if you want to be picking up your 8 heavy tank, premium, I think this is a fine tank to pick up. Um, but that's my honest two cents on the matter. 
and that's going to be it. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think of this tank if you have one yourself, and uh, I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Check out Spaceman. Take care, everyone, and peace out.